to the 500 meter start line now where we have our mixed C2 crews readying to race for gold and Canada's crew of Connor Fitzpatrick and Katie Vincent both bringing Olympic experience to this race. They are in lane five, uh, but they'll have a big race and a tough race ahead of them. Lots of Olympic and world medal medalists in this final PL. Yeah, so we certainly have a, a lot of a lot of great athletes out there. Um, this event was a 200 meter event last year, moving to the 500 meter now. So certainly a big of change in strategy and the athletes that might be contesting this event. But we'll have athletes from Nigeria, Colombia, Germany, Ukraine, Canada, Poland, Hungary, Romania, and the United States vying for this world title in the C2 Mix 500 meters that will set to be underway in about two minutes time here. So in lane one from Nigeria, Michael Moses and Goodness Faloki. In lane two from Colombia, Alejandro Ramirez, Manuel Sanchez. In lane three, I'm the three-time Olympic gold medalist, gold in the C2000 earlier today, pairing up with Sophie Koch here um, for Germany. Great pairing, should be one of the ones to watch. In lane four, Tokyo two-time medalist pairing up with the two-time Olympian, Lyudmila Luzan and Pavlo Altogov. Lane five, both Tokyo 2020 Olympian finalists, medalists, Katie Vincent, as well as Connor in C2000, seventh last year at the World Championship in the 200. From Canada, Connor Fitzpatrick and Katie Vincent. In lane six, the 2021 silver medalist in C4 500 pairing up with the fifth place finisher in C2 500 at last year's World Championship, fourth in Poznan from Poland, Aleksander Katewski and Sylwia Czerbinska. In lane seven, the silver medalist from C4 500 in 2021, pairing up with the Tokyo 2020 Olympian, Laura Consol and Daniel Fejes. In lane eight, the semi-finalist from this event at the under 23 World Championships, Lead teaming up with the gold medalist in C2500 and C2 silver medalist in the under 23 world championship from Romania, Tania Virijak and Oleg Nuta. And in lane nine, the B finalist in last year's under 23 C1000 pairing up with the 2021 under 23 B finalist in C1200 from the United States, Jonathan Grady and Andrea Gazilla. And we are underway in this mixed C2 500 meter final. Canada competing out of lane five here, having a great start alongside Germany, the Ukraine, Poland, and Hungary as we are set and getting underway here in the first few meters of this 500 meter race. And strong racing here from the Canadian crew in the mix at the moment, fighting with Poland as well as Hungary on the outside. Romania having a great race as well in the early stages. 200 meters in, it is everyone's race at this stage, but Canada in the mix fighting for a medal now as we approach the halfway point of this 500 meter race. And halfway, it is the crew from Canada in the lead by half a second over Romania. Poland and Germany coming strong in the second half here. Canada in the lead with 200 meters to go. And accelerating now with about 150 meters to go. It is still Canada, Poland mounting a challenge, as well as Romania as these crews are moving to towards the finish line. Germany also accelerating, but Canada maintaining their composure here with 100 meters trying to take this world title here, 50 meters to go. But it is Canada by a vote, Germany and Poland in the mix for these medals. Canada coming through really strong, Poland continuing to accelerate with Germany. But it looks like Canada will be taking this world title. Germany coming in for second, Poland for bronze. Your world champions, Connor Fitzpatrick and Katie Vincent. Congratulations.
thanks to them, the hometown crowd just wildly cheering them on here. Just an incredible win. And what a race right away from the start. Connor Fitzpatrick and Katie Vincent jumping to a lead. A lot of guts to go in front of these strong crews and take the lead early. Poland coming strong, Germany coming strong, but able to maintain their advantage, building a lead of a full boat length with 200 meters to go. Connor Fitzpatrick and Katie Vincent coming in to take this world title in the C2 Mix 500 meters. And great racing here, crossing the line and celebrating that world title. Germany coming in second, late lunch, Poland coming for bronze. What a race here in the C2 mix, 500 meters. Such an exciting win for them. Looking forward to hearing their thoughts on the race here in just a few short moments. Epic. A little bumpy at the end, but it worked. Okay. Worked out. I was like, no. go! Yeah, no. <laughs> and I just started. Yeah. 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 Fitzpatrick and Katie Vincent. What a race and fans from Canada delighted here as Canada takes its first gold of these championships. to see them stand on top of that podium later on today. And speaking of medals, we are heading back to the medal area for the C1 men's 1,000 meter medals. That ceremony taking place in just a couple of minutes here. Katie, Katie yelled, let's go at me, and that was just it. The Shinobi horns at the cannon tent, and I heard that, and it's just all over downhill from there. We were going home. Oh yeah, big time. It's, it's fuel to the fire right there. You hear that cannon noise and you just take off right there. What was the race? Or to take, to take a little bit through it, beginning to end, uh, like I was watching it. Through.
the medal ceremony of the C1 men's 1,000 meter event will begin momentarily. Rabaneda, ICF Executive Committee member, accompanied by the President of the Romanian Canoe Federation. The bronze medalist is Martin Fuxa, representing Czech Republic. The silver medalist is Ezekiel Santos representing Brazil. is Catalin Sherilla representing Romania. We will now hear the national anthem of Romania. Everyone, your 2022 C1 Men's 1,000 Meter World Championship medalists. We are very quickly back to the water now for the K2 mixed 500 meter final. Those crews are readying near the midway point of this kilometer long race course for that final. Yell. Yeah, it should be an exciting one here in the K2 mixed 500. Similar to the 
C2 mix. This was a 200 last year, extended to a 500 for these championships. So exciting race coming our way. In lane one, the defending world champion in K2 mix, Hungary starting a new crew this week, comprised of the 2021 Junior World Championship medalist in three distances, joined by the two-time world champion from Hungary, Levente Kurush and Elita Katso. In lane two, 2020 Tokyo Olympian in K2000 and K1000 entry earlier this, in these championships, Canada's Brian Malfazi and Courtney Stott. In lane three, two very, very experienced paddler, Olympic experience from Portugal, Teresa Portela and Fernando Pimenta. In lane four, Denmark has reached the final at both World Cups earlier this year. New crew here, three-time Olympic medalist in the boat from Denmark, Emma Jorgensen and Magnus Sibersen. In lane five from Australia, Elisa Bull and Jackson Collins. Lane six from Sweden, lots of speed here. Linnea Stensel, Peter Menning, lots of K1-200 medals to their name. In lane seven, from Germany, the 2021 silver medalist in K2 500 and a Tokyo Olympian, Tobias Schultz and Carolyn Arft. In lane eight, the United States, Aaron Small and Elena Volkemont. And in lane nine, Japan, Ryu Ryuji Matsushiro and Juri Urata. And we are underway in this final of the K2 mixed 500 meters. Strong start from Portugal out in lane three, as well as Australia in lane five here in the first 100 meters of this race. But it is also Germany jumping to an early lead here in the opening stages of this final. And 150 meters in, 200 meters in, it is still Germany to the lead here. Tobias Schultz and Carolyn Arf coming to a strong performance, but staying in is Hungary also in lane one. Canada fighting here to come back into the mix. Australia in there as well as the crew from the United States fighting hard here as we are moving on. But it is Germany moving well, as well as Portugal now getting in the last 200 meters of this race. And with 150 meters to go, it is a three boat race now between lane three, Portugal, as well as Australia and Germany coming on strong now. Australia mounting a big challenge here, trying to challenge Germany's early lead. Portugal putting strong as well. Teresa Portela and Fernando Pimenta here coming in neck and neck here. Three boats coming in for the gold medal as we're approaching the finish line here. Australia charging late and coming in to take this gold. World title going to Australia. So close for second and third between Portugal and Germany. We'll have to wait for the replay, but Elisa Bull and Jackson Collins taking the gold medal here in this mixed K2 500 meter final. Back to back gold here for Elisa Bull taking the thousand earlier today as well. Big program this morning. And what a race from the Australian crew. And those smiles say it all. They were certainly working hard out there, but they pulled off such a great race. Huge congratulations to those world champions from Australia. And great racing here from the pair of Teresa Portela and Fernando Pimenta as well. Lots of experience, Olympic experience, medals to their name on the world stage as well. And they won in Poznan earlier. So certainly were one of the crews to watch and they delivered here. They were in the lead um, with about 150 meters to go, 100 meters to go, still in the lead. And then in Germany in second, Australia in third. And they pushed back in the last 50 meters here, Australia coming through the field to take this gold medal here at the line. Very, very close finish between those, group, those three crews as we are coming here to the finish line. Australia just lunging ahead. Silver does seem to go to Portugal and Germany hanging on for bronze. What a close finish here in this mixed K2 500. Great celebration from the Australians here, taking the world title. Nice to see them enjoying that win there.
And a huge thank you to Patterson, McKinnis Cooper, Cluid Insurance, and Royal Bank of Canada, our supporting sponsors here at these 2022 ICF World Championships at Lake Bannock. Our Parade of Champions continues. We are heading back to the podium for our medal presentations in the C2 Men's 1000 Meter event. That will include our bronze medalists from Canada, Craig Spence and Brett Himmelman. That is set to start in just a few minutes. The medal ceremony of the C2 Men's 1000 Meter event will begin momentarily. We will now present the medalists for the C2 Men's 1000 Meter event. The medals will be presented by Cecilia Farias, ICF Executive Committee member, accompanied by the team leader from Germany. The bronze medalists are Craig Spence and Brett Himmelman, representing Canada!
The silver medalists are Hao Liu and Bo Enji, representing China. We will now hear the national anthem of Germany. Your 2022 C2 Men's 1,000 Meter World Championship medalist. Set to get underway in a couple of minutes here. The top female canoers in the world compete to see which country can put together the best quad. And PL Canada is coming off a World Cup win in this event. Yeah, so certainly a crew to watch here in this race. Canada uh, winning in Poznan earlier. But in lane two, um, including top 10 finishers from C1 200 and 500 at Junior Worlds last year, should be a great race from Mexico. Stephanie Guzman, Marisela Montemayor, Nico Guzman, and Lucero Mendoza. In lane three from the United States, a young crew here. The U.S. have been racing C4 at their, world, at their national championships for a few years now. So Emma Albrecht, Audrey Arper, Ten, Ten Kusaka, and Asusa Murphy. In lane four, Golden Poznan this year, multiple world champions in C1 and C2 in this crew. Olympians as well, representing Kaskia, Chima, Mississauga, and Micmac from Canada. Sophia Jensen, Sloan McKenzie, Katie Vincent, and Julia Osende. In lane five, fourth at the World Championships last year, silver in Poznan this year, and multiple junior and under 23 World Championship medalists in this crew from Poland, Sylvia Skesorbinska, Aleksandra Jasevich, Katarina Spirkiewicz, and Julia Vasak.
In lane six, silver medalist last year at the World Championships, including Olympians in this boat as well. From Hungary, Giada Bragato, Virik Baya, Kinso Takash, and Bianca Nagy. And about to get underway here in this women's C4 500 meter A final. Again, in lane two, Mexico, lane three, United States, lane four, Canada, lane five, Poland, lane six, Hungary. And we are underway now in this women's C4 500 meter final. Great start here from Canada, Poland, and Hungary in the early stages of this race. This boat's a really heavy boat to get off the line, but then it gives you a lot of glide. So Canada having a great start here in the first part of this 500 meter race. It is Poland, Hungary, and Canada in the early stages. Silver medalist from Poznan earlier this year. Poland currently in a small lead over Hungary and Canada as we're approaching the halfway point of this 500 meter C4 final. At the 250 meter mark, it is Poland from Hungary and Canada currently sitting in third place. Starting to accelerate and race to rate is Canada now as they're trying to make a comeback here to get on a higher placing in the podium. But Poland in control here by about half a vote over Canada and Hungary. But Canada starting to come back now, that rate increasing drastically. Sophia Jensen stroking the boat here, trying to make Canada come back as they are coming to the last 150 of this 500 meter race. Hungary also raising the rate here. It is a three boat rate in this. coming in for the bronze. And so close here as we got to the last stroke. Half a meter between Canada and Poland. Hungary coming in third place in this women's C4 500 meter final. Congrats again to Sophia Jensen, Sloan McKenzie, Katie Vincent, and Julia Asende for that gold medal! Oh, oh my God. That 
and was like, great to see them all celebrating, oh God, congratulating like, each other. What a race there. And speaking of medals, we are heading into an extended run of medal presentations now before we wrap up the final day of our World Canoe and Para Canoe Championships here on beautiful Lake Bannock. Later today, we will have a trio of 5,000 meter races that will be packed with action and strategy. Four, pardon me, four 5,000 meter races coming up after lunch here. Uh, along with their medals uh, at these uh, World Championships, all three top finishers will receive a special gift as well, a handcrafted wooden apple blossom created by Mi'kmaq artist Dusty Muse of the Bear River First Nation.